Running for office is expensive. Candidates have to raise a lot of money for campaign ads and staff. All that money comes from donors who support a candidate's re-election efforts. But the laws are loose, leaving a whole lot of room for questionable spending. Channel 2 Investigates looked at campaign finance reports from members of Harris County Commissioner's Court. Investigator Mario Diaz discovered one commissioner stood out for pricey travel, high-end hotels, and lots of online shopping. Commissioner Rodney Ellis is a fixture in Houston politics. Give the other health-related dollars. A familiar face at Commissioner's Court, as well as around town, according to this, his latest campaign finance report. I go overboard on making sure uh, I disclose not only what's required, but give as much detail as I can. Ellis's campaign finance report from July to December of last year is 268 pages long. And when you compare it to his commission colleagues, as you can see here, Ellis overwhelms them. Ellis has a robust campaign war chest. And even though he is not up for re-election until 2020, he is spending campaign funds like he is in the middle of a tight race. Do you have any campaign offices at this time? No. Do you have any no. staff? No staff. Have you officially yeah. launched? No, I have not. Channel 2 Investigates found Ellis buying campaign phone services, storage, even a campaign computer from Best Buy on Christmas Eve. If he can't buy in person, Ellis goes online. If you have no campaign office, sir, what are you purchasing on Amazon? You know, I'd have to go and look and see. A total of 17 purchases via Amazon for supplies or equipment. And he's shopping at grocery stores, too. Eight purchases alone at this Whole Foods in Upper Kirby. Ellis says he uses his campaign funds to supplement his county office expenses. Hey, look, I just did lunch with my staff today. Now, it'll be You do paid. plenty of lunches, by the yeah, way. We paid for it off of the campaign, but if I'm eating with my staff members, Arguably, I could charge that to the office, but why get criticized for that? Ellis is quick to point out he is not using taxpayer money, but it's not his own money either. The funds come from campaign donors, money to help him get reelected. But let's not forget, have you officially launched? No, I have not. But he has a campaign vehicle, a Cadillac Escalade. Records show it made 27 visits to Mr. Car Wash on Kirby between July and December of last year. Hey, we put in a lot of miles. Thousands of miles in the air as well. Last September, Ella spent more than $10,000 from campaign funds for business class flights and a Ritz-Carlton stay in Barcelona, Spain for an oil and gas conference. When the conference wrapped, Ellis then took a cross-country trip to Sevilla to learn about bikes. You said you were in Sevilla for bike infrastructure. Yes. But what's fascinating is that on your campaign report, you said you were at the Gas Tech conference. Well, I did both. Gas Tech conference is here in Barcelona. Sevilla is 618 miles away, sir. Yeah, so what are you looking at The conference at here? is over. So I'm looking at your report. The trip was charged to the campaign for over $1,200 in transportation and hotel costs. Remember, Ellis admits the trip was non-campaign related. When I went to Sevilla, a good part of it, maybe most of it, I probably paid for. I may have charged for a meal or something else. This whole thing is credit card expenditures. Base Goggin is with the government watchdog Texas Public Interest Research Group. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, this stinks. The state's election code has statutes that say politicians cannot use campaign contributions for personal use. And Rice political science professor Mark Jones says it appears that is exactly what Ellis is doing. It would appear that Rodney Ellis is using some of his campaign funds to fund things that most people would consider to be personal expenses. Ellis says in his mind, the spending is justified and the expenses are legal. If I'm flying on my personal business, I'm going to fly business class if it's, if it's you, international. And you'll use the dollars that other people gave you to do so. Yeah. Ellis also admits his campaign vehicle, a Cadillac Escalade, has a monthly lease of $1,700 or $1,800. Ellis says he pays 25% of that lease out of his own pocket. The rest is paid for by the campaign and the county. That's right. Harris County taxpayers are also paying for his campaign vehicle. Bill and Dominique, important to point out again that Ellis tells me that if in his mind the expense is justified, mm. he'll charge it to the campaign.
more tomorrow? Indeed we do. Uh, it's going to be one particular establishment that we're going to be looking at tomorrow that uh, Commissioner Ellis and his campaign paid nearly 30 times to because they had nearly 30 meetings connected to this establishment. Which one is it? We'll have it tomorrow. Now you, you characterize his campaign contributions as other people's money. Some people would say, well, if they gave it to him for his campaign, it would be his. But it's important to point out, campaign funds can be returned to the donors if they're not used during a campaign. So technically, if they want to, and Ellis said at one point during the interview, if anybody is unhappy with the way that the money's being spent, if they want their check back, then I'll give it to them. Ah, and well. I asked him, well, why are you going to do that? And he said, well, because I don't want any criticism. All right. Hmm. Thank okay. You, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Okay.